Okay, an important video for Pelgun oil, and because primarily this channel helps uh, Daisy users fix their guns, I do have a couple of maintenance videos on Crossman guns I really like. I'm just going to be careful. It's not about starting a war with Crossman, but there is a lot of uh, misinformation or misconceptions about what Pelgun oil actually is now. At one time, it may have been 20 weight non detergent oil, but that is not what it is now. And the source I quote in depth is a competitor, but you're talking about guys who are chemical engineers. And the bottom line is I have an engineer helping me with my channel. We made clear that the chemical engineers are the, you know, basically scientists. We're talking about O-rings and the oil like this. Okay, so the best data out there that I've been able to confirm from multiple vectors, sectors, and I decided just to quote, well, actually the competition for Pelgun oil is... Uh, Okay, Magnum Oils, and they do a beautiful job of putting in their argument, and it's pretty educational. The difference between, like, say, Pelgan Oil and their oil, and they make it clear this oil does have detergents in it. This is a 30-weight oil with detergents. It has detergents, and they make the case that detergents are actually okay for the nitro rings, and they understand the chemical composition of these pump gun rings, especially that. So... Anyway, please read the written section. A lot of people don't read it, and that I do quote heavily from Magnum Oils. They are technically a competitor to Pelgan Oil, but they make some very, very good points overall. And again, I just had someone contact me. He got a Daisy 35, decided to use classical firearm oil, which has penetrating oils and solvents, and he wrecked his gun. But he's, you know, he knows he made a mistake. He's going to fix it. He has to rebuild his gun, basically. All right. So am I saying not to use Pelgun oil? No, use it. It's just people need to understand, yes, there are detergents in this. It's just what can nitro O-rings deal with? And they can deal with obviously some of this. It's a raging debate because I've talked to Crossman guys who have spent their whole lives and dedicated, they're dedicated Crossman fanatics that make it clear that instead of using this, they would rather use um, ND oil, like 30 weight, non-detergent oil from the auto store which i tell people you buy the jug get a little dropper bottle from hobby lobby and keep the jug in your garage and i've had actually i would say veteran crossman users that prefer to use other oil other than this and so it's a debate and um, i had a gentleman think and he may keep thinking that this is transmission fluid and you know the thing is it's not about um, upsetting people or getting in a debate if okay if someone wants to believe this is transmission fluid okay okay on this channel, I'm going to get a lot more rigid because I cannot afford to have people buying the wrong oils that, as Magnum Oil says so well, please toggle the arrow and read what they have to say. Um, I found like 20 different sources that say roughly the same things that Magnum Oil says, and I don't want to have to credit 20 different sources when they said it the best in one concise argument. Are they selling a competitive oil to this? Yes. But the education in that piece is so good. Um, please toggle the arrow and read that, please. So yeah, so we want to avoid penetrating oils and solvents that will trash your gun, okay? Uh, anything, uh, WD-40 and 3-1 are great oils for other things, but we have to guard against that, all right? Um, so I guess the best way to say it, there's, there are detergents, and then there are things like penetrating oils and heating oil and everything that will destroy your seals and you lose your gun. So, uh, okay, so where am I? Okay, I'm at a good time to quit here because I... I want to say one last time, this is 30 weight uh, SAE oil. It does have detergents in it, okay? And then it comes down to, is this a gotcha video on Crossman? No, it's it's not meant to be that. It's just, if you like Pelgan oil, keep using it, okay? If you want to switch to Magnum oil, that's your choice too. But the thing is, if you like this and you had no problems, then, then keep using it. And um, I'm going to just recommend ND oil on this channel and get more rigid and lockstep with the Daisy engineers. I feel like I've had some Daisy activity on my um, comment section, and I just feel I cannot risk telling people to get too loosey-goosey with their oils and have them use something that has penetrating oils or uh, solvents that destroy your gun. So for me, I'm just going to say 10 weight and 30 weight ND non-detergent oil from now on because I do not want people to make a shopping error and just pick up something that destroys their gun. Okay, so if, if you like Pelgun oil, and it's just too confusing. I know it can be confusing, especially if someone new. Then just get Pelgan oil. I'm not going to speak out against it, 
just understand what it is. And please toggle arrow and read the written section. I didn't find any better concise argument than what uh, Magnum Oil was talking about, about the reality of O-rings, which is chemical engineering, and lubricants for those O-rings, which is more chemical engineering. All right, so please uh, read the written section. Thank you.